Today we're going to be talking about how to find the linearization of a multivariable function. And in this particular problem, we've been given the function f of xy is equal to 1 plus x times the natural log, or ln, of the quantity xy minus 5. And we've been asked to find the linearization of the function at the point 2, 3. Now, as a reminder, we have the equation for the linearization of the function, which is the same equation that we use to find the linear approximation of the function. And notice that all we really need to do in this formula, all this formula asks for, is the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the partial derivative of f with respect to y evaluated at the point a, b. So this right here is the partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point a, b and the partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point a, b. So we plug those in. We're going to leave x and y as they are. We're going to plug in the point 2, 3 here for a and b, and plug it in to our original function to get f of a, b as well. So a couple different components, but let's start with the trickiest ones. We'll first find the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and then the partial derivative of f with respect to y. With respect to x, the derivative of 1 will just be 0 because 1 is a constant and the derivative of any constant is 0. In order to take the derivative of x times the natural log of this quantity here, we'll have to use product rule. So using product rule, we'll first take the derivative of x, which is 1, so we'll get 1 there, and we'll multiply that by the other function here, natural log of x, y minus 5, without doing anything to that one. Then we'll add to that the opposite situation. We'll leave x as it is this time, so x. Then we'll multiply by the derivative of this natural log of xy minus 5. To take the derivative of that, we'll have to use chain rule. Our outside function is natural log of some quantity here. The inside function is this quantity, xy minus 5. So we know that the derivative of natural log of anything is 1 over whatever's inside that there. So we'll get 1 over xy minus 5. That's the derivative of the natural log part, leaving the inside function completely alone. But then we have to multiply this by the derivative of the inside function. Well, the derivative of xy minus 5 with respect to x is just y, because this xy term here, the y acts as a coefficient on this first degree x term, and so the derivative there is y. The derivative of the negative 5 is just 0. So there's our partial derivative with respect to x. If we simplify it, we'll get natural log of xy minus 5 plus xy over xy minus 5. Now we need to go ahead and evaluate that at the point 2, 3. So what we'll say is the partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point 2, 3 is going to be equal to natural log of x times y, so 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 5, plus 2 times 3, or 6, over 6 minus 5. When we simplify here, we'll get natural log of 1, which is just 0, so that's going to go away, and we'll get 6 over 1, or just 6. So that's our value there for the partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point 2, 3. Now, if we take the partial derivative of f with respect to y of our same function up here. Again, the derivative of 1 will be 0. The derivative of x times natural log of this quantity, we won't have to use product rule to find it because we're treating x now as a constant. So this x is just acting as a constant on this natural log term here. So what we'll get is first take the partial derivative of natural log, leaving the inside completely alone. We're applying chain rule here. So we're going to get x times 1 over xy minus 5, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function with respect to y. The derivative of xy minus 5 with respect to y is just x, so we multiply that by x, and as you can see when we simplify, we're going to get x squared over xy minus 5. When we plug in our point 2, 3, we get the partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point 2, 3. What we get here is 2 squared in the numerator, or 4, divided by 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 5. So when we simplify, we just get 4 over 1, or 4. So those are going to be our two partial derivatives evaluated at the point 2, 3. 
our last step before we can plug everything we found into our linearization equation is to find f of a b and f of a b just means we're going to be plugging in the point we were given to our original function so we're going to say f of 2 3 will be equal to 1 plus here we plug in 2 for x so 2 times the natural log of 2 times 3 which is 6 minus 5 and when we simplify we get 1 plus 2 natural log of 1 natural log of 1 is just 0 so this is going to go away and we're just left with 1 now we can plug everything into our linearization equation so we're going to say that l of x y is equal to f of a b we just found that to be 1 so we'll plug in there then we have the partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point 2, 3, which we found to be 6. So we'll get plus 6 times x minus a. Well, a comes directly from the point we were given. It's 2, so x minus 2 here, plus the partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point 2, 3, which we found to be 4. And we're going to multiply that by y minus b. b is the y value in our coordinate point here, so we get y minus 3. Now we can leave it like this if we want to, but it's better to simplify. We'll get 1 plus 6x minus 12 plus 4y minus 12. If we order our terms, we'll get 6x plus 4y. And notice we have minus 12 minus 12 is a negative 24 plus a positive 1, though, gives us a negative 23. And that's it. That's our final answer for the linearization equation of this multivariable function. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.